We're going to use this classroom newsletter to demonstrate how to use columns in Microsoft Word 2007. First, let's adjust the zoom down so we can see the whole document at once. So we'll take it down to 50% zoom and let's just scroll down a bit. Okay, so we can see this one page newsletter. It's all in one column. Now we're going to leave the newsletter in 50% zoom. It's We can't read it. However, it lets us see the whole document at once. And we're going to highlight the entire document and then navigate to the page layout tab. We'll click on that. And then under page setup, there's a columns drop down menu where we can click and there are several preset choices. Let's click on two and see what happens. Okay, you'll notice that our text has been put into two columns. However, our title is at the top of the first column, and we really would have liked the title to go across both columns. All right, let's just hit the undo button. And this time, we're going to highlight everything below the title, and then go back to the page layout tab, come down to columns, select two, and now we have two columns nicely situated under our title that goes across the top. Now while we're here, let's go up to the Columns drop-down, and if I hover over three and click, you can see that's what three columns would look like. Let's go back and try what left. You'll notice that kind of looks like a newsletter where the left column is thinner, and here's the body of your text, and right is just the opposite of that. But for this case, let's go back and put it on two. Now before we end this tutorial, let's go up to the Columns drop-down one more time and come down to the More Columns choice. Here you can see the same presets we were just working with, one column, two, three, left and right. But we have additional choices here. We can increase the number of columns we want to add. We could add a line between them. We can make custom width and spacing choices and we can click right here on this box to make the columns equal. All of these changes can be seen in our preview zone right here. We're going to back out by clicking on cancel, clicking to remove our highlighting, and we will increase our zoom back up to 100%. Scroll to the top, and you can see how our newsletter looks a little bit more finished now that we've added columns.